The talk of barricading goes back years in Daisy standalone. Back in 2014, October, lock picks were introduced. I think it was 0.50. And everybody was getting really excited about the possibility of barricading your house. This was a first step. You could lock doors and they would take damage. So, uh, for example, church doors, if you locked those, people couldn't break through them. So there was definitely a reference on certain doors to how much damage they could take and how much damage each weapon did to that door. It seemed like a good introduction. And Rocket said that um, barricading would be very much like the dead linger, which was back in 2014 at E4. So they had it in mind that potentially, as you can see in these pictures, you'd have these boards go across, maybe you'd have a hammer and some nails to attach that item to the building. Now there's no doubt about it that this could be a game changer for Daisy, and there are a number of reasons. I mean, firstly, we really need something new in the game that's going to kind of focus us and create points of interest. It would set up narratives and goals and potentially storage. So you could imagine maybe some kind of base structure. It could also introduce like a last stand scenario, which would be really cool to play out. Somewhere where you barricade and you had loads of people coming at you. That would be awesome. And it's something that doesn't happen really in Daisy because there's nowhere where you're safe, where you can kind of stop people from coming in. When you think about it, we already have some of the mechanics. So we have logs from trees. We have the nails that you find that you create nailed baseball bats with and you can separate those. But uh, potentially you'd want to introduce new items like maybe a claw hammer. Now there is a hammer and they could replace that model and make it functional. So a claw hammer would be needed because you'd need to be able to take the barricades off if you barricaded yourself inside a room. And you would probably also need, potentially, if the logs weren't good enough, planks, a plank item. Now you might find stacks of planks that you harvest, or it may be that planks are just lying around that you collect. So which buildings are we thinking about? Which could be barricaded? Now, you know the way Daisy does it sometimes, they want to do the big thing first. Well, maybe they should just start with one type of building that could be made, could be barricaded. And what this could do in a sense is set up potential new doorways that had attachment points for planks. And they could implement that into a building, potentially. I'm not a game designer, but this strikes me as a, as a way of doing it, where you could attach these planks and then barricade yourself inside. Now start with one building, if that works, then you would move to the next building. I've mocked up some examples here. Try not to laugh too much at my graphics, please. So issues that could arise. There are some. Now, ghosting is probably the one that people talk about the most. That's when someone logs onto a different server in the barricaded building and then comes into the server where the barricaded building is and is inside that structure. So we, you'd have to have barricading as a facility maybe that you turn on and off depending on the server. So it'd have to be a private server. Servers that are locked down with single hives so you couldn't skip from one hive to another. And therefore it, would be, it wouldn't be something necessarily in the public hive. And this probably would open up a, a new approach to Daisy. They may just go with private hives like Miscreated have. So each server is a different character, which which I think makes sense, and I think the public hive system potentially has now got a little bit tired, uh, possibly, but it would open up the possibility of barricading on some servers. Yeah, they could be barricading servers, that could be what they're called. How would these barricades take damage? Now, if you've got a shotgun, 
you could probably blast the barricade off pretty easily. So there may potentially need to be varying levels of barricade. So the number of planks. At the end of the day, if you had a barricade up, it wouldn't be invulnerable. It would stop the zombies, that's for sure. And that would be one of the key things here. The zombies becoming more of a threat. But at the moment, zombies do not go through closed doors. So that's not such an issue. Maybe one of the things they could introduce is if you're barricaded into a room or you barricade a window up, then you could shoot outside the window still. So the, the angles at which the barricades go across the windows allow you to shoot out at people who are potentially attacking your structure. They would need a damage rating and you'd have to accept that certain weapons could not damage barricades, but that maybe things like axes did special damage. Splitting axes would maybe get through barricades more quickly than certain weapons. So there are things to consider. But I reckon a lot of the mechanics are there already in game. And that it's a good focus. I, I think that this would be a really credible thing for Daisy rather than focusing on adding loads more guns or a helicopter. This is all about the characters existing in a, a sort of in a, in a town environment. And not, the towns haven't actually received a lot of attention recently. I think they should do. I think this barricading would be really fun and interesting, and I think it would get people back into Daisy and open up lots of narratives and stories, and, and give the opportunity for content creators to to create these uh, these great videos that Daisy used to be known for. So that's that's how I feel. That I think barricading should be a thing. Hopefully, this video will open up discussion again. Maybe the developers will watch it. Who knows? But it's definitely there. I hope they introduce it soon rather than wasting their time on some of these massive projects they have. We don't need the map developed any further. What we need is a focused team on things like barricading. I think that will bring some of the gameplay back into Daisy Standalone. Guys, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, click the thumbs up. And if you've got any comments, add them down below, of course. If you haven't subscribed already, it would be awesome if you could. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. You may not know that I have a Red Bubble shop. There are a range of products I've created based on games including DayZ, The Forest, Subnautica, and Ark Survival Evolved. I don't have Twitch subs or channel sponsorship, and I receive a small token amount from my YouTube broadcaster, despite the excellent hardcore guys and girls who support my videos. Any red bubble sales not only financially support my time and the hours that go into making my videos, but also you receive a quality product at the end of it. The link to the store is below. Even if you don't fancy buying anything, liking products in the store really helps. Thanks guys.